Now here, this is also the quadratics with the leading coefficient of one. So I can do the same thing that I did before. The only thing different is that this last term now has a variable on it as well. So it needs to have that y times the y so that when I multiply these, I end up with y squared. Um, so let's break up this number. So 20 is 1 times 20, 2 times 10, 3 does not work, 4 times 5. And I wouldn't put 5 on the list because it's already here. So we know we've got them all. Now, which of these will add to give me 12? 2 and 10 will add to give me 12. So 2 and 10. The bigger number has to be negative. And if I want these to multiply to give me a positive, this one also has to be a negative. And so then this is the factorization. Again, you can check x times x is x squared. x times negative y is negative 10xy. Negative 2y times x is negative 2xy. And negative 2y times negative 10y is a positive 20y squared. And these two guys do simplify down to negative 12xy, just like what we had there in the middle.